first one this is something i did yesterday have you guys seen those those uh prompts even what you know about me or based off our previous interactions this is on chat gbt i've asked like which books should i read that will improve my life but like it's pretty cool like, i don't know it's like a new era of prompts something llms based off like, knowledge about you now chat gpt has like, memories but you could also if, i don't know if you're using some other service and they have like, knowledge base of facts about you and your personal life you could ask questions like this so i've asked like pretty much asked it to recommend some books for me to read so which books should i read and atomic habits was the first one and like, this is like, one of my favorite books already so it was pretty good Lean startup and obviously I talk a lot about work related stuff to chat GPT so a lot of these books are very work related and obviously I also said improve my life so it's gonna suggest life improvement books but I don't know maybe if you are if you talk to chat GPT about a lot of personal stuff that could be useful as well for you the 90s hibernate tech what is that oh you mean the 3d I don't know I created this animation with WebSim. what's happening guys we streaming we back this is good hopefully we stream a lot there's one a uh, bunch of stuff I want to cover today for the first time we have TikTok Man, this, is, this is the first time I'm streaming off TikTok with a stream key I'm not sure if it's even working or not oh no this is a github one but yeah it's like neural network game engine type things are so cool so this one looks like it's a CSGO thing I don't know if they have one you can play oh well, this one you have to download and run yourself which is a bit annoying but I think there's a Minecraft one that you can play if you go to etched.com Descartes and etched uh, made Oasis so yeah pretty much Minecraft Minecraft, but like every frame is generated with a neural network and there's no game engine. Let's play one. Village Outpost. Looks like you can just play it on the web, I hope. Is it like a queue system waiting for your turn? I don't know. Hopefully we can just wait. I'm gonna oh it's your turn. Here we go. It says it's your turn. Oh hell yeah, here we go. Oh shit. Oh wow. This looks way less HD then. And there's an obvious delay, but I'm pressing up forward now and it's walking. And then the mouse is working. Control to run. Oh shit. Oh no, I accidentally closed all the oh, six guys. Dude, I was holding W to walk forward and then it said control was sprint. So I pressed control and then it was me slamming command W and that's like short key to close a tab. So I just like, closed every tab. Oh boy. Whoops. But I think you guys get the idea. Honestly, it wasn't really that fun to play, but the, the concept is awesome. And I didn't know this, but N8N actually gives you a 14 day trial on their cloud. So initially I was doing N8N locally hosted, but you get your own domain name dot app dot N8N dot cloud for 14 days and you get a thousand free executions. I was trying to make an automation that takes all my TikTok posts and post them to YouTube and Instagram and X, but there's no real good APIs for this stuff. Or like, okay, I guess the first issue is there's no NAN nodes for downloading from TikTok, nor posting on Instagram and stuff. There is for YouTube, but it's not YouTube Shorts. So this actually posts on normal YouTube, which is a bit annoying. Um, you can make your own custom nodes and stuff, which is pretty much what these are. These are all HTTP requests. But it's like that stage for me, I feel like I just rather Rather use something like cursor or Ader or whatever and write a script uh, for someone like me like this no code platform is is a bit overkill when it comes to hosting like to host so much more compute to get this automation running versus if it was just a Python script but I can definitely see it being useful if you're building this automation for a non-technical person who then later can go on and cuddle around, change some settings if they want. Uh, for me, and after playing around with this, I feel like just making a Python script would be probably like a little Python server would probably be better for me. ChatGPT desktop. Apparently there's a bunch of updates on ChatGPT desktop. I haven't opened this in so long, but I have it. So here's ChatGPT desktop. This version has been sunset. Update the latest version. No surprises there. So if you go to openai.com slash ChatGPT. This one is slash Mac for me, but I'm, I think, did they have Windows yet? I think they have Windows. They might not. What if we remove slash Mac? What, what happened? It just opens up chat. Maybe it's still only Mac. I'm not sure. Lazy confirmed that there is no Windows option for ChatGPT. GBT desktop. That's unfortunate. There was a period I tried to look for the Windows alternative. There are a bunch of open source chat GPT desktop alternatives for Windows, but none of them that I've tried were actually very good. There's no Intel version for chat GPT. If you have an Intel Mac, honestly, it's time for you to upgrade. Those things suck. Intel Macs absolutely suck, bro. You need an M series. All right, let's get the new chat GPT running. Hopefully, hopefully it will run. Yes. Here is the new chat GPT. New chat GPT. It says memory 
memory? Oh, what is that? Oh, damn. New memories won't be created because I already have too many memories. This is a very limited amount of memories. Very interesting. I'm pretty interested about their voice chat. Does this work? Is this just going to be the standard voice? So I'm not paying for plus. Hello? The time. Hello? What's the time? Mm, it's kind of broken. Let's uh, restart it. Sometimes it, it, it is cuggy in itself. I don't know. 10.54 p.m. UTC. Okay. Can you search the web to see if there is any APIs for posting videos on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter? I'm ready to help. What would you like to discuss or work on? I want to know if there's any APIs available for posting videos on the platform X. Platform X, or what is now branded as X, formerly Twitter, allows video posting through its API for premium business and enterprise level developers. Specifically, the API requires uploading the video via the slash media Nitro. slash upload endpoint, then linking it to a post using the slash tweets endpoint. Can you give me a code example in JavaScript? It's pretty buggy, but so is the, and do the web search, but this isn't search GPT, right? This is, this is different. They even have a little pop out box. That's pretty cool. Any other features? Like, yeah, you can now search your history. That's really cool. That's obviously a very obvious feature that they should have had a long time ago. Upload photos, screenshots, take photos. I saw, I probably have to be on GPT plus, but I've seen Riley chat about their desktop. Maybe we can, I can find that. What is everyone saying? Let me show you guys that video of Riley. And click on the timeline at that point. First cut. Streams lagging. I made a cut, now what? Awesome. Select the unwanted segment by clicking on it, then press delete on your keyboard to remove it. Mm. Next, we'll close got the it, gap. Got it, oh, I just deleted it. Now there's a huge gap, now what? Perfect. Click and drag the remaining clip to the left to close the gap. Mm. Your timeline should now flow smoothly without any breaks. Nice. Looking good. Cool. So you can see, I think that's gonna be very useful in the future once it gets better, is actually just having that, like a computer assistant that's always, always knows what's on your screen and you can just talk to it without having to type or click anything. That stuff is so cool. All right, what's next? Oh yes, the free models, uh, GitHub models. GitHub has a whole bunch of AI models and interestingly, they have GPT-40 hosted on GitHub and you can actually use this for free. Uh, they have different tiers. So this one's a high, highly rate limited tier. I guess it's provided by Azure. So shout out to Azure for providing that. Azure and GitHub, they're both owned by Microsoft. Yeah, you only get 10 requests per minute, which is fine. Oh, 50 requests per day, that's kind of shit. But I think the worst thing is you only have 8,000 token input. So you definitely can't put your whole code code base in there. 8,000 is quite small in my opinion. So it's not gonna be very useful for like code base stuff, but like small scripts and small file changes. I think GPT-40 is probably the like best free model at the moment now. You look at the code editing leaderboard. Hey, this is free now, GPT-40. On GitHub model, so uh, here the so one count that two three. Pretty much the fourth best coding model is now free on GitHub model. And how do you get it? I'm pretty sure you can just get API key and an AI SDK and the base URL is models.inference.ai.azure.com. So yeah, I'm using Social Stream Ninja. I am using Social Stream Ninja. Here we go. What happened to using Social Stream Ninja? I am using Social Stream Ninja. Here we go. It just wasn't working. Ah, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Sorry, I missed these. YouTube messages, Lazy and Shubham, what's up? I have one doubt, can you contact me? Probably not, but you can feel free to send your messages through the general chat on my Discord. And that's probably the best way. I don't really reply to DMs, especially if they're asking for help. The community might help you. And by publicly doing all the help on the general chat, if someone in the future has problems, we can help them as well. There's actually a specific ask for help chat as well here uh, which would be even better if you post there that was the old one. Oh, right uh, sujay hey what's up man thanks for dropping by yo ale i live streams very interested oh thank you i think it's kind of boring waiting for the m4 chip m4 chip seems really good it's very smart to be waiting for that i don't think this is advanced mode no that the chat we just saw was not advanced mode advanced mode is i've done a bunch of testing the, with the advanced mode the capabilities of it being able to do like sense and understand the actual more than just the text but all the other parts of speech is really good. But when it comes to actually complex, smart understanding of large amounts of text and stuff like that you'd expect GPT-4 is better at versus GPT-3, the advanced mode seems like it's actually working with a dumber model. So it's not as good when you're trying to get it to do smarter reasoning stuff. But yeah, obviously it's pretty good for learning languages and stuff and role play. Mm. And I don't think they ever tried to say that it's a smart model. They just like the ability to you to interrupt it with your voice and 